Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Letterbox node. So we're going to jump into Fusion where we've got some footage. And the Letterbox node is what you want to use if you need to adapt existing images to a frame size or an aspect ratio of another format. And it'll automatically create letterboxes. So to show this, let's go ahead and grab a letterbox. And I'm going to drop this in. So the way this works is it's going to change any footage that's coming into its input. No matter how many nodes you have, this is going to make a change to it. And just mind you, it does make a difference where you have it according to your other footage. And I'll show you this in a second. But the whole point to this is to switch your footage to the aspect ratio you want and create the letter boxes accordingly. So up top, you that have the ability to change the width and the height. So you can just scan it down if you want. So you can change it to whatever you want it to be. And you can change your height. And it's going to create these letter boxes around it. So as you change it, if we uh, really change that width down, down here you have a checkbox for auto resolution. So what this is going to do is it's going to set your framing to your timeline settings. So whatever you have set up in your settings, your timeline resolution is what it's going to switch to. So I've got 3840 by 2160. And as soon as I click this, it's going to switch that back to 3840 by 2160. So you can use that to quickly reformat footage if you need to. And since this footage was in that same format, basically, it's not really doing anything. But you also have the ability to select different formats. So regardless of what you're working in your timeline. So if I right click on this width and go down to select frame format, if I say need to use a 4K full aperture, Super 35, if I know that's what I'm working on for this project, I can just click it and it's automatically gonna change that aspect ratio. So now we've got letter boxes created on our uh, footage. So let's say we had to do something uh, odd like uh, HD square. So we'll do 2160 by 2160. So we've got HD square. Now down here, you've got two options for your modes. You have letterbox, which is this is going to fit it into your letterbox. Or you've got pan and scan, which is going to fill all that in entire uh, display area with your pixels. And once you do that, your center down here, you can move to move your center around. So if you need to change the center of your image, you can. So let's reset that back to say the Academy and switch that back to Letterbox. And you also have the ability to change your pixel aspect ratio. So you can change that aspect ratio if you want. Down here you have uh, filter methods and up here this checkbox means only use these filters when you're doing a high queue uh, rendering. But your filter methods right here are the same exact filter methods that we went over on the camera shake the other day, I believe. And with your nearest neighbor, your box linear, so however this is resampling these pixels, this is the filter it's using. So you'll just have to go through and select which one you feel is the best. And down here you have clipping mode for none and frame. Now, unfortunately this doesn't automatically add actual black bars, so you're not gonna get black bars. And if you wanted to add black bars, you might assume you can just uh, create a background to merge and put a background in but once we do move that to our foreground 
once we do, you got to remember it's going off your uh, background of your timeline setting. So it's completely changing all that stuff. So to do this correctly, what you want to do is just copy this letterbox, paste it, and then you can bring that into the background bring your new footage into the foreground and on this letterbox of your background instead of doing the letterbox envelope just do the pan and scan so now it's filling that all up with your actual black bars if that's what you want it's not required because you can always do that in the editing, ta editing tab so now we've got our footage resized according to uh, what we told it to resize at now keep in mind this isn't the timeline resolution so this is just what we changed it to with this letterbox so if we go back to our edit tab it's not going to look right so you can see we've got black bars everywhere because we're still operating off of this timeline resolution that we set so if we uh i forget what i we did we did the 2664 so if we go back here and we change our timeline resolution to match that to the academy and once it works its way through now you can see it's matching what we did in fusion because it's now operating the correct timeline resolution according to what we did in fusion so let me reset my timeline before I forget so that is the letterbox I will see you in the next node breakdown